Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm a Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable and expensive makeup from drugstore, Walmart, dollar store, you name it. I'll test on my face, I'll pass the savings to you guys. So in this video I'm testing Sample Beauty Prodigy palette. Not uh, very new, but relatively new. This is was gifted by my very good friend and Marie. So I'm gonna be doing this look a very deep jewel tone and I'm gonna be doing swatches and overall review and my thoughts at the end so if you guys are interested then keep on watching don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time and free notification bell below so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a new video I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific time and also go live every Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific time as well so like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter. The links are down in the description box. So let's get right into this. So before we get into the video, let's do the Russian word of the day real quick. So I know some of you are really enjoying it and some of you are studying Russian, so there we have it. So this is not a one word. I'm kind of going to give you a little more this time. And I'm gonna give you uh, what is your name and my name is very basic phrase. So как тебя зовут, which means what is your name? And again in Russian Cyrillic alphabet, I'm gonna put it up here and a phonetic pronunciation in English below. Как тебя зовут? Как тебя зовут? And the answer would be меня зовут Лена. So my name is and so on. Uh, so again, I'm gonna put in Russian and phonetic pronunciation. Меня зовут. And you insert your name. So Lena is a short uh, for Elena in Russian. So all my mom and my friends called me Lena. So in Russian I would say меня зовут Лена. So there you go. Как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Лена. So if you want to use it to introduce yourself, Put it in the sentence down below in the comments. So let's get right into this review. As you can see, the process throughout the video ended up with this kind of deep uh, Halloween-ish look. Not Halloween, like scary Halloween, but the color scheme. Uh, I, I was feeling it, so once I got a chose the dark tones, I was like, let me put this on my lips as well. Almost ended up with a nude lip. I'm like, nope. Not nude, not today, he's like, not today. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is the palette. If you guys don't know the palette, go to Beauty Bay, check it out. It's 20 pounds on Beauty Bay and 21.95, I think, in dollars. Real affordable, 21 beautiful shades. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers, well, seven. Uh, so some of them are really, really uh, shiny. So the metallic duochromes, there's two of them. The real me shiny metallics here, the uh, gold and uh, beryl and pyro uh, garnet. And a couple more shimmers that's not com entirely metallic. Uh, azurite and rhodolite, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And the rest of them are matte. I think it's a real good balance. It's a good proportion. I like that when the majority is matte. Uh, the only thing I wish there was white here and the lighter tone, maybe like a cream beige, but it would be good for deep skin tones. So if you're paler than me, you might be having issues with this, but if you're deeper than me, it might be actually very, very good for you because that would be your um, blend out shade, something like that. Uh, so yeah. So I'm going to show you the swatches on my arm really quick. I'm going to insert it and I'll tell you right off the bat as you're watching it, I'm going to split screen. So you're going to see the, the swatches on my arm. So uh, pay attention to when I turn my arm, you can really see the dual chromes. The dual chromes are real stunning. Those are my favorites. And this, of course, almost lost it. These two are very shiny. <laughs> and the mats uh, performed really well and they're really dark, really pigmented. I have no issues with the swatches or with the way they went on my eyes. So as you can see on the swatch video, 
it's amazing so let's get into a quick tutorial and then I'm gonna tell you I mean obviously you can see I like it <laughs> so I'm gonna give you my thoughts at the end of this video so we're going to start with the green shade and it's called tourmaline and I'm gonna go right into the outer corner with a spectrum brush number 812 this is a very deep jewel tone palette well most of them are deep I really enjoy these kind of tones so I'll apply it under diagonal I like to go on the diagonal following the eye shape so it looks pulled up and out I'm gonna go fill in here and go about halfway maybe less than halfway through into the crease because we're gonna do half purple and half green these two tones always make me happy purple and green together blend it out a little bit because next we're going to apply the lighter green and it blends with this one perfectly so this was tourmaline so I'm gonna go to appetite appetite this one and I'm gonna go on, on another brush a little flat here so we can really blend it out and this is spectrum beat uh, 10 so right 50 50 on it and over it and above and blend it out in circular motions yeah these two colors like perfectly created for each other that's what i enjoy in the palettes like this when i really think about uh the palette blendability and logically put colors that blend together well uh, in the same palette so i'm going back to tourmaline and tourmaline and appetite uh, mixed together so darker green and lighter green so I'm taking about the same size of brush that I use for the tourmaline. This is a Morphe brush with no name on it. It's like a thicker pencil brush and I'm going right into the beautiful Tanzanite. I saw it and I wanted it. So I'm going to put, mix this with stone. So stone looks like it's very light but it's actually not. So when you blend those two together, uh, it kind of creates a little darker tone than I was expecting. So if you guys are curious, I'm using the ABH base, eye, eye base. I go between ABH, Belize and New Makeup Revolution. Those are three of my favorites. So these are not the best tones to blend into each other because the blend is kind of murky. Purple and green don't really mix well together, but they're deep enough to hide the murkiness. <laughs> So kind of, they're so dark that it doesn't really matter. So now on the same brush, going into the color switch, I'm gonna go to stone, the lighter purple. And the stone is not all that light. So that's the only thing this palette is missing, I think. It's missing a light shade to blend anything, pretty much. I wish I had like a light, uh, like a cream, a white shade. I prefer white. I wish every palette had a white and black. So this palette has black, but doesn't have white. So I wish, so I'm gonna cheat a new light from ABH palette, because I feel like I needed to uh, lighten up certain areas and it was a little too dark. So I cut my grease with uh, a revolution base in the light. And well, first I clean with my cellar water and then apply the base. I mean, very basic cut crease, but I want to create this, my favorite deep shape that really, really uh, pops the eye for me, at least. So I'm gonna put the shimmers, and those are, of course, the ones I had to go for, the Moonstone and the Asper. So this one's gonna be my brow bone highlight, and on the outer corner, and this one's gonna be closer to the inner corner. So I'll do the brow bone first. On a small, tiny brush, this is sample beauty, uh, sample beauty spectrum <laughs> spectrum 815 so i'm gonna go right for this greenish looks like it's a dual chrome gold green or something it's very very gorgeous now i'm taking a bigger brush and this is morphe unnamed brush flat brush just a little too thick for the cut grease so i use the a flat brush for this shimmer eyeshadow. So these are more powdery, a little chunky, but they stick on the base very well, so I'm not complaining. 
So this is the greenish, the diaspora, the one I went to my cut uh, to my brow bone. Look how pretty this is. This is so nice. Oh my god, this dual chrome is everything. Kind of reminds me of uh, Nikki Beauty Bay uh, dual chrome, that golden greenish dual chrome they have there. Similar, but not the same. And closer to the inner corner, I'm gonna flip the brush and get the other dual, uh, dual chrome. I think it's a like dual chrome too. It's more of a silvery pink moonstone. I'm gonna put closer to the inner corner. So to blend the outer corner, I'm going to go with the first brush with the green. I'm gonna go back to dark green, tourmaline. And the same brush, I'm gonna dip into the apatite or appetite. So now I'm going to deepen out the outer corner with even a smaller brush. This is A27 from Spectrum Brushes. I'm gonna go right into Obsidian. So this one kind of like against the packaging, it doesn't even look black. It looks like it's gray. So it was kind of like a disappointment, but when I applied it on my eyelid, it does look really black. So I think it's kind of deceiving uh, the color of the packaging and the shiny and glossy black against the matte black. So th this is a real good black. And it's very creamy and goes on well. No complaints. So it goes on well on the color that was uh, on my eyelid before already on the tourmaline. So that's a good sign. When they go on on top of each other well, that means it's, to me, it means it's a good quality because some of them go patchy, like the blacks like to go patchy on top of the other shadows. So this is a good one. And now for the low lash line, I just wanted something more warm and bright. So I want pink purple and I'm going to go with shimmers. Why not? Because I wanted to. So I have a low primer on my low lash line too. And I'm going to go with Spectrum 813 brush. Kind of a chunkier brush. Black but chunky. And I'm going to go between Azur Azurite and Rhodolite. The names, I can barely pronounce any of this. <laughs> so this one and this one. So they're both shimmery, but not like metallic, but they have nice satin shimmer. I like these kind of shimmers in the low lash line, so they're not super shimmery, but they still give you like a little reflection. And go into pink. And for the waterline, I'm gonna go with LA Shockwave uh, Neon Eyeliner in the color Vivid Purple. And this is a very true to uh, the eyeshadow purple. So it fits the eye look very well. So I applied the eyeliner from BoxyCharm and this is Big Fat Liner. That's what it looks like. This is a really nice one. If you guys got it in BoxyCharm, you know what I'm talking about. And the mascara was uh, Lily Lashes Mascara from BoxyCharm as well. And the eyelashes from Alter Ego. So now I'm going to go with a little turquoise uh, pop of color. So I really need this, this extra glitter from Care Beauty and this is in the color Icy. So as usual, I'm gonna go with a small brush because the applicator is thick and chunky, as they all are. So this is from Aliexpress, just a very thin brush. So this is the initial blend. I might have to fix up some after apply foundation, of course, you know, because of the low lash line. But this is what you got for now. I might add a little white eyeshadow in the inner corner to blend out after apply the concealer because this is very dark. So I'm going to use off camera just an ABH white and just to put it here to blend. But this is it. I'm gonna go finish my face makeup. And I'll be back with a full look and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. So I finished my makeup. So this is the finished eye look. I added a little white in the inner corner just to blend out the dark purple. And a little, little bit of more green here to just make it very drawn out. So this is the finished look. I decided to go with a very dramatic finish because the eye look came out so dark and smoky and mysterious looking. So it's kind of like a Halloween themed colors to me. I didn't plan it, but it kind of turned out like that. And I used Maybelline lipstick, matte ink in the color Explorer. 
it's really blue so it was outer corners and on the inside I used a liquid cat suit by Wet n Wild in the color the shade is teal so yeah this one and then of course I had to use the same shimmer they used in my eyes so this is the diaspora this one so I put that in the middle just to give it a little shine so it kind of became a purple green Halloween kind of theme look uh, to me it looks I mean, it's not a Halloween Halloween look, but you know what I mean. So yeah, so that's the look. I really enjoy this palette. So this was a gift from my friend and Marie. Uh, if you're watching it, thank you so much. I really love this palette. I appreciate and I love you, girl. Uh, so I love this palette. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm really excited to try more colors because everything swatched beautifully, as you saw it in the beginning. Um, yeah, and the mattes are nice and creamy and blend out easy. The black is real black and goes on real pigmented. Have no problem putting black over other colors, which means uh, it went on without primer, kind of, you know, over others. So that's a good sign. The shimmers are beautiful, a little chunky, but, you know, at the end they went on real nicely. So they blend out. Um, yeah, I have no complaints. So I really can't wait to try other colors. So really deep. I like the deep colors. It's almost like a Halloween palette, what you call Halloween palette, with a lot of uh, purple and dark green and some oranges. So yeah, so this is nice. And for the price of for like 21 something dollars, it's really, really is a good deal. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm really impressed with Sample Beauty. So the bottom line, I do recommend this palette. If you guys are interested, it is on Beauty Bay for a real low price. As I said, like a 21 something dollars uh, for 21 shades is an amazing deal. And the quality is superb. I really, really highly recommend this. I don't know how I missed on Sample Beauty, but now I'm really into this brand. So I'm curious to try more things from Sample Beauty. So yeah, I approve. So let me know what you guys think. Do you have this palette? Uh, it's not brand new, obviously. There have been tutorials already, so I finally got my hands on it and I'm really enjoying it. It's beautiful. So leave me a comment below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. If you're first time, uh, please do subscribe and the pre notification bell down below so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a new video. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific time and also go live every Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific time as well which is 5 p.m. in UK. So join me on Sunday live, we just have fun and we joke with each other and I do usually very extreme looks on Sundays, uh, some kind of makeup challenges. So <laughs> join me every Sunday and Thank you everybody, uh, all my patrons on my Patreon group for joining. I really appreciate your support. Thank you guys. So if you guys are interested, my Patreon group is also in the description box. So thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.